How's it going everyone? It's Sam. We are going to go over Workhorse today and why it's up, why it keeps moving up. Jim Cramer actually said today in the lightning round to go ahead and buy Workhorse. So I'll show you that. I'll talk you through it a little bit. And then we're going to show it versus some of its competitors, some new companies that have kind of gone on the radar or some new vehicles that have come up recently. And these stocks have been moving up pretty quickly. So I want to talk about that. And then at the end, I'll tell you about a possible positive catalyst that could send the stock up a lot. And it's been changing a little bit. So I'll show you that towards the end. So before we get into it, if you guys don't mind hitting the like button, I really appreciate that. It means a lot to the channel. It helps out a lot. And then if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, you should definitely do that. We are so close to 20,000 subscribers. I really want to hit it. You know, by the time this goes up, maybe we're already past that, but I would really appreciate it. If that's the one nice thing you do today, just hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want, Webull's giving away four free stocks. So if you deposit $100, get those four free stocks now. It really helps out the channel and it's a good deal. And if you want to see exactly what we're buying and what we're selling, you can check out the link down below to our Patreon. So I talk about exactly what I buy and when. We've been buying some stocks that have, going, that have been going up a lot recently, like SBE, which I which was up 25% yesterday. And then also a rival stock, which is something that we'll talk about today. And we're up about 40% in that. So definitely check out that link if you wanna join our Patreon, talk to other investors on a daily basis. So Workhorse is up about 2.2% after hours today, kind of a sideways day, right? We didn't see a lot of movement, but you can see since end of October, we've actually seen a nice price movement up of about 48%. I did buy in more around $16 a share. And I've been saying this for a little while that I thought we were going to see some upwards price movement. Although I thought that was going to be a little bit later. I thought that was going to be a little bit closer to the USPS decision, which I think is probably in December, but we've seen it move up a good amount here partway through November. So the question is, first of all, why is it going up? And then kind of what's happening with some of their competitors. So first of all, very interesting information that came out from Jim Cramer today, and he is on Mad Money. He's a very influential person in the finance space, and I think this had some cause on the stock. I think we might see a little bit later because this came out. This was about four hours ago. I'm shooting this at midnight Eastern time, so you know I think this could cause a little bit of a push tomorrow, but let's see. So he's been someone that has definitely talked poorly about the stock saying that it was a show horse and that he didn't like it. He talked about it a lot when it was down and then also when it was at its peak, but it wasn't really moving. It was just trading sideways. But let's see what he said recently. Um, I'm not here for what Which one? Workhorse has got that momentum that I see periodically. I, I think Workhorse is really a show horse, but Workhorse is connected with Lordstown. It's Look, it is basically a technology company that builds high-performance electric vehicles, and people love that so much. I'm not going to get in their way anymore. I, 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 I'm, I'm too jaded. Go ahead. Buy Workhorse. All right? There. I said it. Okay, let's go to... So there it is. Jim Cramer is telling us to buy Workhorse. So I think this is what probably set the stock up afterwards. You can see that it was down 0.22% in this video and then we have a positive price movement after hours and it went up a couple percent you can see too that he was talking about ride stock they have moved up a little bit after hours but they've been moving up a lot just over the last five days you can see that they are up about 50 percent over the last five days uh, and some big numbers that they've had and i've talked about them before but i think that has some correlation to why workhorse is up but let's take a look because a lot of people have been asking me about the competitors right so ford came out with their e-transit now arrival so arrival stock is one that i've talked about on the channel we've bought we're up 40 percent in it in just a couple days you definitely check out that video if you haven't seen arrival already i'll link it on the end screen but overall a lot of people are worried about some of their competitors coming up so let's take a look first of all we have the c1000 and in the c650 for workhorse so GAWR is the gross axle weight rating. You can see here 12,000 pounds. Now, if we look at something like the new arrival van, which is something that we've talked about a little bit, you can see here their smaller one is about 2,000 kilograms, which 
is about 4.4 thousand pounds. This one is about 8.4 thousand pounds or so, uh, rough conversion. So I think that what they're trying to do is make a vehicle that can carry more than these vans. And if we look at it versus the Ford E-Transit, they say that they have a max payload of 3,800. Now, first of all, it doesn't even matter for the USPS contract because everything is submitted. The E-Transit was not in in time to be included in that. It's not even the right layout. So these vans are not what they're looking for. They're looking for something that is more like this, like the traditional USPS vehicles. So I think that that is something to remember that this doesn't matter. The arrival truck, the new Ford truck isn't in competition with workhorse for the USPS contract. So first of all, you can throw that right out of the gate. And second of all, I think long term, there is some competition, but this is a massive market. We've talked about that in the past. You know, it's $18 billion a year just for final mile delivery. So I think there is enough room for multiple competitors in the space. So if Workhorse can just carve out a small percentage of that, even if it's just a billion dollars a year, that should be really good for the company. So I think that is something to consider. Now, one thing that I do want to hit on, if you want to look here, you can see that, you know, class two is kind of what uh, it looks like the Ford E-Transit and the arrival vans are between 6,000 and 10,000 pounds or even class one. So you can see the vans both here and then it looks like workhorse is more class three vehicles. So that is something that you should know too. Now, the short-term catalyst that could send the stock up massively. First of all, if we get the USPS decision, that will send the stock up, obviously. But if we have a short squeeze, I will say that we have been growing in this short position. And I've done some math. So before you think that I've talked about this before, we have moved up dramatically just over the last couple of weeks. You can see here we have 32.5 million shares that are shorted. This accounts for over 750 million of shares that are shorted, people betting against the stock. And this is about 27.6% of the overall market cap. So a massive short position. Now, this is kind of a high risk, high reward play because it can push the stock down as more people short the stock, but it can also send the stock up a lot very quickly. If we do see some good news that comes out, a lot of people will have to buy back in. They'll have to cover their shorts. And we see more and more people seem to be shorting the stock almost every day at this point. So right now, it is a good time to be a workhorse investor. We've seen some price movements. I'm not too good to sell. I'm not going to I'm not gonna sit here forever if it keeps moving up. I will be looking at possibly selling out if it continues to move up drastically. Now, I've talked about when I would sell in the past, but you know, you always have to come up with the most up-to-date information. There are a lot of stocks that I really like. So I did a video just yesterday on four growth stocks that I really, really like. Workhorse was an honorable mention, but there are some that I feel like have such good growth ahead of them. So if you guys want to see that video, you can definitely check it out here. Also, thank you for checking out Weeble, and I'll see you in this video.